This is Coyote News. Hello, and thanks for joining us. I'm Allie Boyson. And I'm Carter Holfer. We'll get to those stories and more. But first, the U.S. Secret Service intercepted five bombs addressed to Hillary Clinton and former President Barack Obama today, among others. The Secret Service say this, that screening procedures kept Clinton nor Obama from receiving both packages. White House Press Secretary Sarah Sanders says, quote, These terrorizing acts are despicable, and anyone responsible will be held accountable to the fullest extent of the law, unquote. A suspicious package was also sent to the office of Representative Debbie Wasserman Schultz near Fort Lauderdale. A police bomb squad was also sent to the New York CNN offices this morning because of a suspicious package. The offices were evacuated. A Japanese journalist was freed after more than three years of captivity in Syria and is now safe in Turkey. Japanese Foreign Minister Taro Kono says Japanese embassy officials met with freelance journalist Junpei Yasuda near the border of Syria at an immigration center in Turkey. Yasuda was kidnapped in 2015 by al-Qaeda's branch in Syria. Yasuda's release came as al-Qaeda branches have become so weak that they're nearly unable to operate. Someone in South Carolina is the lucky winner of the Mega Millions jackpot. The winning ticket, worth a total of $1.53 billion, is just shy of the all-time world record. The earlier Mega Millions estimate of $1.6 billion would have beaten the world record. The ticket sold yesterday is worth just over $877 million in a lump sum cash payment, which most winners choose to receive. South Carolina is one of eight states where Mega Million winners can remain anonymous, so the world may never know who bought the winning ticket.